Hi, welcome back to the Reload Bench. So I'm using a different camera than I normally use for most of my videos because I'm going to use my cell phone camera to demonstrate this. This is the desk phone from WeatherTech. Taking some of that stimulus money and invested it back into American Jobs. I've uh, made two purchases from WeatherTech while being furloughed. And this is one of them. I wanted to try this out. They've actually got uh, something similar to this that I guess you can put in the cup holder of your vehicle. So you can have your, your cell phone propped up maybe to, to stream live from the vehicle or just be able to look at the uh, display or whatnot. And this is the uh, same sort of thing. It's just for uh, householder at work use, I guess. It's just a simple tripod stand here. It's got some uh, rubber feet on it. And then there's a simple adjustable mount here. So on the back looks like you just take loose this thumb screw and it telescopes. So let's see how well it fits this Galaxy S9 Plus. Looks pretty good to me. Now the whole purpose of this is to see how well I can use this. You can see i unshaven wearing my grubbies today because I don't have to go to work. So just taking a look and seeing how well I can use this possibly for live streaming or as some sort of backup uh, tripod as opposed to this, this full size tripod I've got here. And just, just see if I can use it for some of the live shows that I, I go on or for, for uh, I guess, filming videos. I'm really not too sure. I'm, I'm going to play with this and just see how, how useful it is uh, trying, to, uh, trying to mess around with it. And I mean, it's small. It, I mean, it's going to fit into some places where I can't really bring a tripod. But because it's, it's so short, unless I've got it up on a stand or up on something up high, I, I just I don't know how well it's, it's going to work out. So I'm going to be messing with this. I may start tonight on a podcast, uh, playing around with it. I'm not too sure. But hopefully it works out the way I'd like it to. So there you go. The WeatherTech desk phone. This is kind of weird looking in this camera and trying to see if I'm getting everything in frame with this camera. The uh, WeatherTech desk phone tripod, whatever you want to call it here, for a smartphone. Made in America. Supporting American jobs, and if you make videos yourself or go on live shows, you may find this useful. Perhaps next I'll get the cup phone for my pickup truck. Thanks for watching. Something I'd like to add to the video is I'd like to make a correction. My cell phone is a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, not an S9 Plus. Another thing I would like to add is I noticed while reviewing the footage that I can only use this for portrait shots. I can't use it for landscape. Right now I have my cell phone mounted in the normal tripod that I use and it has a selfie stick adapter attached to the top. I can only use this tripod for landscape, which is good for shooting most videos. Portrait is not in my experience. So I'm going to have to learn how to work with that limitation here. This may simply be good just for doing podcasts. I'm not too sure yet. Since I can't, since it's, it doesn't telescope or anything else here, I can't raise it or lower it. I'll have to put it on a desk or shelf or tailgate or hood or, or something else like that for, for, for one thing. But the other is I'm going to be limited to portrait. Something else, I tried to take this piece right here and add some adapters from my 4K action camera. Any of you who use those cameras know what I'm talking about. They're very similar as far as the way they're shaped. Uh, the only thing is, this is a little bit thicker. The, those they wouldn't. I got it. I got it to connect one way, but not the other. So I was going to try to adapt it the same way you would a, a camera mount for a 4K action camera, so that I could turn this sideways, but still have it sitting on the on the feet. And that didn't work out either. So I did check the WeatherTech website to see if they offered any adapters, and they don't. About the only thing they have are uh, Chrome. Thumb screws if you don't like the black ones. That's about it, at least for now. So I just wanted to add that to the video. Thanks again for watching.
Okay, Squibload! Squibload, what's going on? I set up the uh, new dialogue here on the camera. So, and AWAG, you had to say Martini Henry, so I brought up the Martini. Thanks. You know, one of the nice <laughs> things about this lever action is uh, it's got a pretty decent bayonet. So, I mean, if you... Uh, if that's you happen a, to jam sword. it up, because that's not a bad. That's a <laughs> sword. That's a sword for it's a harpoon for an elephant. What do you? <laughs> if you happen, if you happen to jam it up, because these things will foul if you keep firing them, and and you'll find that uh, it just it, this is at least what I've been told is that continuous fire, you're going to have problems where you won't be able to to put cartridges in there. Uh, You've got the bayonet, so uh, the camera really doesn't do it justice, but uh, it gives you some reach. We're so. going to call that a cutlass or a rapier. I don't think we're going to call that a bayonet. So <laughs> That thing's awesome, man. Oh, man. All right, so Squib, I appreciate you being here, and uh, we might kind of fall back on you when it comes to some of those pistol caliber lever questions that we have because I had an opportunity to shoot your Henry, and it was pretty sweet, man. It was pretty cool. Yeah, the Henry's uh, right there, so... Right, sweet. We'll do. 